Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be a very quick video tutorial how to assemble the Enduro cage. It fits. So the Enduro cage is a bit more compact, it fits all in just one bag. So let's start with the bottom hoop section, obviously that's the one without the netting. I'll just slide it through the two clamps in the stand. Like that, now I install all the spars. So, uh, the trick number one, I'll slide the last bar onto the frame, but don't let the safety pin lock in. I want to let it rotate freely because I will need this freedom of motion to connect the last hoop section. Trick number two, there is a very easy way how to get this ball joint into the hole, into the hoop section, and that is gently step on the, on the bottom of the frame, on the stand, and push the whole paramotor forward. This will lean it forward, make it a little more room to slide in. I'll show you how. So I step on it, apply gentle pressure here in the front and slide the ball into the hole in the, in the hoop. Trick number three, right? So last time when I was disassembling this cage, I wrapped this tensioning line around basically to prevent it from getting tangled with the netting as such. And trick number four, now before assembling it, I will just slide this line onto the carabiner in the front, again, to keep it nicely out of the way and not having it tangled. So I'll just slide it around the front carabiner and keep, keep the lines, lines stretched. So now I need to locate the hoop section that uh, goes here to the bottom right corner of the frame. This is where I always start. I assemble in this direction and then later disassemble in the other direction. So the bottom right hoop section is the one where the netting starts, is, is this one. So you see there's the netting starting on this hoop and then continuing to the other hoop sections. And of course you make sure it's the bottom right one. That means if I place it like this, I see the netting is from the front side of the paramotor. So now I will slide it onto here. Trick number five, you don't need to slide it all the way in. You don't need the safety pin to pop out. You can do it later when you get rid of all these hoop sections and you have your hands and all, uh, hands free. So now I just slide the ball joint in and just continue. Basically, I only follow uh, the, the netting and it will tell me which hoop section is the next. So... Trick number six. How to connect the last one? I will. F I usually first connect the male end of this hoop into the female end of this one, but don't let the safety pin go in. This will leave a little gap to fit the ball joint in. So, I'll slide it in. You see, there's a little gap. And now I may use the same system, basically step on it, remove the tension from the frame, And it's done. It's all the way in. Now to tension this, the netting, trick number seven, the tensioning light line has two knots. Now last time when I disassembled it, I used the longer knot at the end of the line to reconnect the line and keep it and to prevent it from being tangled within the netting. Now I will remove it here, undo the little carabiner, then I will slide Now I will slide the line 
through the, the metal ring in the back and I will use the shorter knot to connect with the carabiner. Now I have a lot more tension on it and when I press it down and pull on this red handle, yeah, it's nicely tensioned, maybe a little bit more good. Yeah, that's fine. Trick number eight. When you're disassembling the cage, do everything in reverse order. So basically, I will start by releasing the tension in the, in the, in the tensioning line, connect it here in the front onto the longer knot, and then disassemble from, disassemble from this side all the way to the other. If you do it in the reverse order, it will be a lot easier next time when you assemble your paramotor before flight. It shouldn't take more than roughly five minutes. Another five for the propeller. So within 10 to 12 minutes, you should be ready to go flying. Have fun, enjoy. Should you have any questions, feel free to contact us as info at scoutparamotor.com. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss the next tips and tutorials. Thank you very much and fly safe.